Hello, I'm Jackie from IeltJackie.com. In this video, I cover all the key information you need to know about the IELTS listening test. Here's an outline of what it includes. The format of the test, question types, skills assessed and marking criteria. First, the format of the test. The listening test is the same for both the academic and general exams. It lasts for 30 minutes and you're then given 10 minutes to transfer your answers to your answer sheet. There are 40 questions. Each correct answer is awarded one mark. Your score out of 40 is called your raw score and this is converted to an IELTS band scale level using a conversion table. Here's the table. Pause the video if you want to study it for a moment. The listening test is made up of four sections. In each section you'll listen to a recorded text and then answer a series of questions about it. The text will be played only once. Over the course of the test you'll hear a variety of voices and native speaker accents such as British English, Australian, American and Canadian. You may also hear a range of different regional British accents. Section 1 is a conversation between two people set in an everyday social context, for example booking tickets to the theatre. Section 2 is a monologue set in an everyday social situation, for example a welcome talk for new college students. A monologue is where just one person is speaking. Section 3 is a conversation between up to four people, set in an educational or training context, for example a group of students discussing a university assignment. And section 4 is another monologue, this time on an academic subject, such as a lecture on wildlife. As you can see, the first two sections of the test relate to social situations, while sections 3 and 4 relate to educational and training situations. Although parts 3 and 4 have an academic context, you're not expected to have a detailed knowledge of the topics. It's your listening skills that are being assessed, not your understanding or knowledge of the subject. Here are two points to note. First, there will be 10 questions in each section. And second, the questions get harder as you progress through the test. You'll be asked a variety of different types of questions selected from this list. Matching questions, multiple choice questions, note completion, form completion, table completion, sentence completion, summary completion, short answer questions, map or plan labelling and diagram or flowchart completion. The listening test is designed to test a range of skills. You must show that you can understand main ideas, understand detailed factual information, recognise the opinions and attitudes of speakers, recognise the purpose of the communication and follow the development of ideas or arguments. It's important to note that your answers will be marked wrong if your spelling is incorrect, your answers are grammatically incorrect, or you write the incorrect number of words. It's easy to get caught out by this final point, so do take care here. Read the question very carefully, as it will state the number of words you must write, or give you a maximum number of words permitted. For example, write two words and or a number write only one word, or write no more than three words. If you write more words than instructed, your answer will be marked wrong, even if you give the correct information. Don't throw away marks by making silly mistakes like this. Now that you understand the format of the listening test, it's time to learn the skills needed to get a high score. You'll find lessons on everything you need to know on my YouTube channel and on the website. I look forward to seeing you in another lesson soon. Goodbye for now.